Hello and welcome to The Print. This is Akanksha Mishra and you're watching Scientifix where I will be taking you through this week's top science news from across the world. Today's first story is about an 11 billion year old cosmic fight between two galaxies currently being observed by scientists. How do galaxies fight? Well, they don't actually. But these two have been observed by a group of international scientists as colliding into each other with such force and radiation that it almost seems like a joust. A study in Nature Journal describes how in this collision, one of the galaxies has a quasar, which is the core of a supermassive black hole which sits at the center of the galaxy and it releases tons of radiation. And this quasar is directly attacking the other galaxy. Now, again, this collision is happening billions of years in the past and the only reason we even know about it is because the world has super powerful telescopes like the Atacama Large Millimeter Array and the European Observatory's Very Large Telescope or VLT which are catching these signals. But that isn't even the most interesting part. The most interesting thing is that we are observing quasar radiation's effects on a galaxy for the first time ever. And what we are seeing is that this radiation is directly impacting star formation in the other galaxy which is being impacted by it. And it's disrupting the gas and dust clouds within the galaxy. The study is definitely a step in the right direction because it's the first time ever that we've been able to observe such a galactic collision with such detailed analysis. Next up, we have a fun little story from the Vienna University of Technology and Tufts University where researchers are looking to understand whether swimming movements are possible in organisms without a brain or a central nervous system. Technically, even an amoeba, a single-celled organism with no brains, no bones, no muscles can swim. But what causes the swimming motion? How do different body parts or cells or parts of cells in an organism know how to move towards which direction? Well, according to computer simulations run by these researchers, it happens because of something that resembles a neural network even in organisms without a brain. To break it down simply, this simulation shows that small chemical and physical signals can help organisms move in a swimming motion without the need for a sophisticated nervous system. Our next story is about a game-changing invention by Chinese scientists who have developed infrared vision contact lenses. You know how in spy movies people wear night vision goggles to see better in the dark? Well, those might be a thing of the past now with these new contact lenses that allow a person to see even with their eyes closed. Infrared is basically light whose wavelength is too high to be visible to the naked eye. But there are some aids that can help with that. Without visible light sources, like during the night, infrared vision helps a lot. But usually, to convert infrared light to visible light, you need a power source. Now, the Chinese researchers have developed these lenses that don't even need a power source and they can see infrared light even with their eyes closed because infrared light penetrates the eyelids better. Finally, if you've kept up with Instagram health influencers, you might have come across a viral trend of mouth taping while sleeping. The idea is to put a piece of duct tape across your mouth when you're asleep to prevent mouth breathing. Well, according to a Canadian paper in PLOS1 journal, the activity has no real health benefits and could even worsen some forms of sleep apnea in people. Sleep apnea is basically a disorder where people have trouble breathing or have shallow breathing during their sleep. And especially if people aren't aware of their sleep apnea, it could be really harmful for them to tape their mouth shut while sleeping. So, the article says that health decisions need to be taken based on scientific evidence and not social media fads. That's all we have for you today. Thank you for tuning into The Print.